everyone, it's Queen of Light, 1111, here with your Wednesday Twin Flame reading. Okay, so I got way too carried away here. I have a lot of cards. I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different decks. Um, just because I wanted to get some additional clarity. Um, there's a lot going on, obviously, not only which is because of the number of decks that I have, but... Just the interesting um, way that these cards have come out today. Um, I've used the Oracle of Mer Mermaids deck for how the masculine is viewing the feminine. I used the Angel Tarot deck by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine for a message from the masculine to the feminine, from the feminine to the masculine, and then a message from the universe to the collective couple. I used, obviously, the Shadowscapes deck for the Divine Masculine space. I used the Lenormand as messages to help clarify the um, message from the universe. I used the Before Tarot and the After Tarot and the Rider Waite Tarot for how the masculine and feminine were feeling before, how they're feeling right now, how they're, feel, they're going to feel like right after this, okay? Um, for the Connective Energies, I have the Arcanum Tarot, and for the Divine Feminine Space, I used the Mystic Dreamers. Okay, so that's all the tarot decks. The theme here is there's still conflict, okay? The theme here is that maybe that there isn't communication or very little to none at this time. The big, big cards that have come up today are Temperance. Um, healing is necessary. There's an imbalance in the relationship. Um, also, we're getting the wheel and the world, which means the cycles need to close. Cycles are changing. The towers come up twice, which is the card of major change, a card of realization. It's coming up in both masculine and feminine side. Um, and interestingly enough, the masculine only has his feminine represented in his space. You know, usually they show up as like, you know, being the king of cups or whatever, but you know, he shows up as the emperor. Okay. So maybe he does show up, but he's got the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles. Interestingly enough, in her space, she has the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. So it's like a double match, right? So what they're basically communicating is they're starting to match on every level so it doesn't have to do with your sun sign but they're starting to embody these qualities and you know sometimes maybe we'll get the queen of cups here and the queen of pentacles here but we'll get the wands here and the king of swords or something and but this time it's like a match like they're very much in each other's spaces okay um and it's very much in that wands kind of fire energy and in the earth energy of the pentacles and so you know i don't know maybe you guys are like you know, sun, um, your sun is an earth sign and your fire, your fire sign is your moon sign. I don't know, but it could be something like that as well, but don't get too caught up in that. Um, there's a lot of clarity that's happening at this time as well in the connection. The Ace of Swords comes up a couple of times here. Um, so that through this tower moment, through this separation, through this um, disconnect, uh, there is clarity that is is that is coming, okay? So, or that is happening at this time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the masculine and the feminine's overall energies with the before the the before tarot, the after tarot, and then the Rider Waite tarot. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to give you the bottoms of the deck. The bottom of the deck for the before tarot is the star. So this is like, you know, when you start to get your source of inspiration and hope. And so, you know, they were starting to have a source of, of inspiration about being together, about coming together. And so that source of inspiration was about him wanting to get in his chariot and move forward to her. And for her, it, with this, you know, inspiration was them coming together and reuniting. So now in the current overall energy for them, there's the Ace of Swords, right? This is about clarity. This is about truth. It's about discovery. And so in the current situation for him, his overall energy is the Five of Swords. You know, through this movement forward to her getting in his chariot, there has been conflict that now he's gaining clarity on through this conflict. For her, two major arcanas came out, the world and the wheel. So through this conflict, through this clarity, you know, she knows that shit needs to change. Cycles need to end. The old 
the old masculine, the old ways are not going to work. So the overall energy is I'm done with the cycle. The, the wheel needs to turn. I'm done with this cycle. This cycle needs to complete. And um, this wheel card is a, um, a dupe for the future energies, okay? So, you know, the wheel is going to continue to turn, hopefully into better times for them. So then in the after tarot, so what happens the minute after this conflict, this clarity? So we have inspiration, we have clarity, we have movement forward, but then we come into conflict. We, we're, we reunite, but then all of a sudden, you know, this clarity comes and now we know we have to end a cycle. So what happens? The bottom of the deck for the after tarot is the empress. This is when the couple comes together. This is you know, uh, partnerships, creativity, birthing, something's already been birthed, okay? So this is the Empress energy. And so this Empress comes out in the after tarot, and it is a match to this Emperor here in his heart space. And so what I'm really getting from this uh, bottom of the deck is that they're going to come together into this partnership. They're just really, really in a very trying time at this time. They're in a cycle that really, really needs to end. And so in the after tarot, they're going to come together as a higher vibrational match. And they're going to then create this new world. Do you see? They have the globe. They're both holding the globe. He ha He's holding her with one hand. And he's got the globe in the other. And she's got the world in both of her hands. And that's this birthing, this empress. And so for him and his overall energy, once he gets through this clarity... There, they will be a higher vibrational match. And for her, she's got the tower. So I feel for her is like, you know, after this clarity, there's going to be more realization, more things that need to be shifted and shaken up. Okay, so he's, again, thinking about, okay, I want to move forward after this conflict into partnership. And she's like, yeah, I want to reunite, but cycles need to end and we need another shakeup, right? Another realization. Like maybe she doesn't feel like he qu doesn't quite get everything yet i don't know but this is her overall energy this is what she's feeling today uh bottom of the deck for the masculine seven of pentacles okay seven of pentacles is about investment it's about value it's also a card of pause it's where you're looking at all of the seeds that you've sown and um waiting to you know reap your rewards okay and so for her she has temperance healing temperance comes up a lot temperance is um, in the current connection. So right now they're in a period of healing. So her overall energy, his overall energy is he wanted to move forward. He did move forward. They came into conflict and now he wants to get back into partnership, but he's waiting seven of pentacles for her came into reunion cycle needs to end cycles need to complete. This tower needs to completely fall down so they can rebuild and she needs to he heal and rebuild. This relationship needs to heal and um, be tempered before they rebuild. That's where they're at, okay? So in his headspace, we have Five of Swords, a match to his current energy. That's when I really know I've really tapped in. Five of Swords in his headspace is a match to his current overall energy. He's in conflict with his feminine. When he thinks of his feminine, Five of Swords comes out. They both lost. They both lost again. This conflict, this tower, they both lost again. He's feeling defeat. He wants to communicate. Page of Wands. He's getting new inspiration. He wants to communicate. He wants to start building towards this tower because remember, he wants to go into this partnership with her. So he very much is like getting new inspiration to communicate, to make an offer, to make an offer of love. Page of Cups. And Six of Cups, he wants to reunite again. He wants to reunite. He's been nostalgic in his head. He knows there's a connection. This is about soulmate, divine connections. And so this fight has really illuminated something for him. Remember, the bottom of the deck for this current energy and their overall energy is the Ace of Swords. So through this fight, he has gained clarity that she is his partner. And he's inspired. He wants to offer her love and reunite. For her, it's a little different, you know. I feel like she's she's not looking to rush in again. And so, ten of swords, ten of swords in her headspace. This relationship is over. This relationship is over. The cycle is ended. Remember, she's got this wheel. The cycle is turning. She's trying to heal from this disconnect, this discord between the two of them. This lose lose fight. She's trying to heal from it. That's her overall energy. 
And remember, she wants this cycle to close, and then she wants to rebuild only after the tower has completely crumbled. So that's why the Ten of Swords. She needs the cycle to completely end, and then they can communicate. Then they can move forward, and then they can move into a better time with the Wheel of Fortune. But until then, it's going to be slow and steady progress with the Knight of Pentacles towards this new beginning of the Fool. The Fool is a match to his message to her. We'll get to that. But she knows she doesn't want any part of the way things used to be. And so she's in the world and the wheel and the temperance and she's like in the tower. And she, everything needs to crumble and completely be obliterated so that they can then move forward with the Eight of Wands energy, which is a dupe to his 3D space. And then come into this better time of the wheel. The Wheel of Fortune is in their future. And then work towards that new beginning with the fool's energy take the risk then okay in his heart space tower queen of wands two of swords emperor the ta he's gay in his heart he's feeling the tower he's feeling the tower he's feeling the loss he's feeling her loss she's the queen of wands she's independent she's fiery she's successful she's attractive she's you know hot tempered right and she this queen of wands brought the tower down and he's feeling it in his heart space and so it has him stuck two of swords two of swords is a dupe to the message from the universe to the collective couple so the tower happens the tower occurs in his heart space because of his interaction in this fight with the queen. And now he feels stuck in his heart space. He's trying to gain his strength to be the emperor. Which is a match to the empress in the future. In her space, in her heart. She wants to move forward into something stable with the king of pentacles. You know, she's wounded from this fight as well. Nine of wands. But she wants to hang in there. Okay. And move forward to her king of wands, this strong leader, someone who knows what he wants. She doesn't want someone who doesn't know what he wants. He needs, she wants him to be sure that he wants this connection and he's going to commit to this connection and help build a stable connection or she doesn't want it any other way. Okay. She doesn't want it any other way. Be sure when you're indecisive in this two of swords energy, I don't want you. I don't want you because it's not going to work. In the 3D space, he's going to gain clarity. He's gaining clarity now. It's in the current connective energy for their overall energy. It's in the current energy for their overall energy. So he's gaining clarity around what he wants to build with this Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is very earth-based. So in his heart, he has fire and passion for her. In the 3D, she's the Queen of Pentacles. Mother, wife, nurturer, a successful person, okay? She's got everything in order. So he's gaining clarity around her. And he's going through this self-discovery with this hermit's energy. Um, the hermit comes out in the future as well. And then in this hermit's energy, he realizes... He wants to have his wishes fulfilled, Nine of Cups, and he wants to move forward to her. Eight of Wands is a dupe to her headspace. So he's gaining clarity. He's gone within, um, He's or he is still going within and discovering through this Ace of Swords what he really wants. And through this breakthrough, through this enlightenment, he knows he wants to move forward. Eight of Wands is also Cupid's arrow. Cupid's arrow is like falling in love, okay? And so... He really, in his 3D space, sees his 3D feminine, Queen of Pentacles. He gains clarity about her because they have retreated from each other. And now he knows that she is his wish. And he wants to move forward. And he loves her. Okay? In her 3D space, a little different. Remember, she's in the Ten of Swords, Temperance and Tower energy. What we're getting is she does want a solid offer. She wants a new beginning in the 3D. Okay, she wants this Knight of Cups to come forward with a cup. But you know what? He broke her heart. And because he broke her heart, these two cards came out together, two of cups, two of pentacles. She's in a period of indecision around this union. She doesn't know if she wants to take it right now because cycles need to end. The tower needs to crumble. The cycle needs to complete. The wheel needs to turn into a better time. And that's why she is in a period of indecision um, and she's unclear and she's juggling whether or not she wants to be in this union or not with him. 
okay? Because he broke her heart. He came back, they got back together, maybe it was too soon, and he broke her heart again. And so she's done. She's in the Ten of Swords energy. She, the tower is crumbling. Uh, it's not completely down yet. You know, cycle needs to end. So now, in their current connective energy, the bottom of the deck, Three of Cups. Three of Cups matches this uh, Three of Cups for her in her before energy where they came together. So now, in the connective energy is there's a desire to come together again. Three of Cups, okay? So what we have in the current connective energy for them is um, the first card that we got was the moon. Things are being worked on in the background. There are secrets. There's stuff that's unknown at this time. Because remember, I don't think they're communicating. I really don't think they're communicating at this time. If, if anything, it's very little, okay? And so right now, there are things that are being um, evaluated or uncovered and you know and so people aren't able to give and receive equally six of pentacles this this relationship is a little stuck with the devil's energy and that needs to be healed temperance which is the, her bottom of the deck okay needs to be healed and balanced out and death needs to occur transformation needs to occur in this space that's where they are currently it's heavy devil temperance death whoa heavy heavy energy okay heavy energy um let's go to messages okay so the message from uh the masculine feminine and from the universe bottom of the deck is justice stuff needs to get balanced out justice and temperance healing balancing things need to get balanced out between this couple it's just not working the way that they had tried to make it work again and maybe because they were using the old structure okay when they came back together and the old structure doesn't work that's why she's got the tower there that the whole thing needs to crumble the whole thing no beams no no foundation the whole thing needs to go so they can rebuild again his first message to her his message to his feminine dreamer the fool new beginning it's a match to her headspace he wants a new beginning with her he wants to start fresh with her he wants he wants her back okay for her five of wands i'm still in conflict we have we fight too much we are, there's too many competing goals this five of swords energy keeps coming out for us she's like we're in conflict all the time and it's taking away my peace and when you take my peace, you got to go, all right? So that's her message is just that, you know, I just need a little space. I need a little time. We don't need new wounds from each other. Let's heal the wounds that we have because you've wounded me again when you came back. And so this tower needs to crumble. I have to say it again. The tower, every single piece of this tower needs to go. And sorry about the call, but I'm going to talk over it. Uh, every single every single piece nail foundation beam whatever needs to go and so that's why she's in conflict that's why she's in the ten of swords uh, that's why she has the world and the wheel and the tower it's just like she's done with the fighting the message from the universe is the two of air and so the message from the universe is you guys are stuck okay but this is a match to his two of swords in his heart and this two of swords when i get this message is because the masculine has not made the decision yet he has not stepped into his emperor power that is why this connection is stuck she's put her foot in it she's like i don't want it back yet until it's completely completely fixed so this universe's message is that people are you're unwilling or unable to make a decision so maybe he's unable and she's unwilling so it takes two right two of air um so he's uh, he's he's unable because he's still getting clarity and she's unwilling because it's the five of wands and so um that's the message from him to her her to him and then the universe's message Following into this, in this universe's message, the bottom of the deck from the Lenormand is the dog. This is about loyalty, companionship, okay? This is what we want this masculine to be because he's struggled with loyalty in the past, all right? So I wanted to clarify this two of air about it being stuck. I just didn't want to give it all to the masculine that he's stuck and that's why he's stuck. But as I'm channeling this, I'm getting it's stuck because he is unable to make a decision. She is unwilling. And so we want to move this forward. But again, death, the coffin, 
these old ways need to die before we come into this commitment, this ring. And then we can have hope. This is the star card. Then we can have hope. We can have success. And then we can make a decision, right? This, this success is around the death of the old ways. This commitment, it can only happen if we completely let the tower fall. And then we can make choices. I didn't want to push it further because I still felt like with this last card of choices, I went right back to the two of air, which is like we're at a standstill again. And I just didn't want to push it. I didn't want to push it. It is what it is. You know, maybe we'll get more clarity on Friday. Right now, the bottom line is he wants to work towards something, but he's continuing to gain clarity. He's not completely in the emperor's power. The tower is falling in his heart space. He's in a period of major conflict overall, and then in his head space with his feminine. He's in a little bit of hermit mode, which is going through self self discovery, but he's really gaining the insight that and the discovery. He's really discovering that he wants his feminine back. Okay, but she doesn't want him back yet. <laughs> She's very different. She's like, you came back to me already. The shit didn't work out and the tower fell. And so now my head's in the Ten of Swords and we're over. And I really need you to, you know, help me build. We need to work together and build a foundation, build something together that you choose and commit to. But you broke my heart in the 3D. And right now I don't know that I want reunion yet. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of I don't knows. It's a decision. You got a two of pentacles. You got two of cups. You got two of swords. You got this staircase of choices. You got two of wands. There's a lot of twos on the table. We're in a period of decision making, okay? But we are gaining clarity. You know, he knows that that's what he wants. And she's like, I don't want some of the same because I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. Um, then I asked, okay, where is how is the masculine viewing his feminine well we got return to aphrodite at the bottom of the deck for the oracle mermaids he wants to come back he wants to return to her but when he sees her he knows she let go how is he viewing how is he viewing her he's viewing her that she let him go okay <sighs> adrift letting go allowing a higher force to take charge for a time he knows that and, and that's exactly what she did. She let him go to surrender this connection to the universe. The next card, time out again. So he, it's like double message that he's seeing her, that she's moved away from him. And he has awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone. And in this time where she has left him, okay, it's the time for them both to contemplate. It's the time for them both to be in solitude and spend time alone so they can make a decision. Remember, I said lots of twos on the table. Two of wands, two of air, two of pentacles, two of cups. We got all the twos. And then another, you know, I just, I just feel like this is a real, real period of decision making. And with the aces and the aces being of aces of swords, they are going to make a breakthrough and they are going to really gain clarity. And so the last card about how he's viewing her is rapid development, excellences, and success. And so what I just said was this is a period of decision making. This is a period of discovery. And through this time where she's let him go, where they're both on a timeout, is going to be a time where, where we, because we've surrendered and we've let go of control, the universe can help them have success which is the star card that came up as that message from the universe and then again with the bottom of the deck it matches kind of his two of wands energy and what he wants he wants her back he wants her back so in the future what do we have in the future we have the wheel it's going to continue to turn it's going to continue to continue to turn actually into better times um, and people are going to be feel more confident, but this nine is an independent energy. I feel like in the future, they're still going to continue to work on themselves, to gain confidence, to gain their independence, okay? And then at that point, they'll have choices to make. They will make choices. And what's the choice? Self-love, Ace of Cups. The, the choice is self-love, but the choice can also be a renewed love. Um, you know, which is from this tower's energy, from this wheel turning, like they're going to come into a different time. They're going to love each other more and they're going to have a renewed love. And we get the king of pentacles. It's because then he makes the decision and maybe she becomes more willing. And then he shows up in the future 
because he's made the discovery hermit dupe in his space and then there's success six of wands so um i just i do feel like the energy is still good it's there but the current energy where they're at today it's still heavy it's still heavy you know he wants to return the scales if i'm going to read the bottoms of the deck this is what i'm going to do he wants to return with this return of aphrodite card scales need to be balanced people are not investing anymore at this time because loyalty and commitment is required so they're trying to gain their inspiration and gain their clarity to come back into union and to have this marriage this commitment this birth of something new into this temperance's energy which then has it become a healed relationship that's really the storyline that's really the storyline they're going to come together it's just it's just a trying time right now like i said on monday's reading it's game time right they're preparing for the final for the finale and um they're close they're close um, so if you guys want to book your own personal session with me, please go to queenoflight1111.com. I do have some spaces available before I take off for the holiday, so do so as soon as possible. Um, and again, thank you for all of your generous, generous donations for your business, for your emails, for your likes, for your subscribes. Thank you so much. I so appreciate all of you, my audience, so much. And um, always wishing you all the best, okay? And I'll be back on Friday. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.